It's for Fanny Willis. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you uh, that, that she was, without a doubt, the most confrontational, combative, non-responsive, defiant, condescending, arrogant witness I've ever seen in a courtroom, especially in a courtroom, and not be taken away in the county bus and held in contempt <laughs> at the local jail. I mean, this just does not happen in courtrooms. She walks in and she literally is so angry, she accuses the lawyer right off the bat of, of lying in her, in her question where there are sworn affidavits, and the judge doesn't say anything. I mean, the judge just lets her, she's out of control. She says that this lawyer is, what is it, contrary to democracy, everything she's doing. Meanwhile, look at, you look at Wade, this guy is sweating bullets. <laughs> he knows he doesn't have any evidence on his side. He knows his claim of getting cash as a reimbursement uh, is ridiculous. And by the way, if this guy ever tries to get against President Trump, President Trump <laughs> ought to have two drinks. And uh, he doesn't drink, though, and be happy. <laughs> this guy drank water all for hours. I can think, oh. when's he going to the bathroom? I mean, all he did was drink water. You have been in the legal world for a long time. Long time. How familiar are you with the idea of just cash everywhere? Uh, let me tell you. The first, the first thing that's going to come out of this case is the IRS now has a target on Wade's back. Because she says, yeah, my clients come in all the time and, and, you know, they pay me cash. And she comes up with cash. Nobody's got, nobody's taking money out. Nobody's depositing money. Nobody's going to an ATM. They're just, oh, but, but we should believe them. We should believe them. Meanwhile, a woman who was her best friend says, yeah, they were, they were basically sleeping together in 2019. But the woman came in, tried to control the courtroom and here's my concern Jesse what the judge acted like a wimp this judge should have been offended right off the bat when she tried to run the courtroom she ran it he did not why this, did he pander to her so much I don't know all I can think of is I did a little background he's just been appointed a judge so he says he's a new judge he doesn't know the ropes yet but he's running for re-election in four months okay uh, so political. he doesn't want to tee her off he doesn't want to tee off the community judge but you the, remember when the guy was in court I think it was Nevada and he just jumped over the <laughs> Yeah, that's I right. thought Fanny was going to do that at one point. Well, I think she she might have. I mean, had she gotten angry enough, I have never seen a witness this out of control and then lecture the judge, point her <laughs> finger at the judge and lecture to the attorneys. This woman potentially holds the fate of the nation in her hands as a prosecutor against the president, former president. This is crazy time. Usually you don't want to announce you keep lots of cash in your house when you're a public official. Yeah. Is that something you'd probably leaned against doing when you were running things? Uh, for sure. And by the way, when I was the DA, the chances of me taking six vacations in five months are slim to none. What DA has that kind of time? Uh, prosecuting Trump's hard work? You got to yeah. blow up some well, steam. Well, that's why she hired him. This guy can't try a felony case. I'm telling you okay. right now. Okay. Judge Pirro doesn't keep any went.